Okay guys, apparently we got two other trailers from Comic-Con. We also got a Deadpool trailer and a trailer for The Suicide Squad. We also got an X-Men Apocalypse trailer, but however, I could not find that anywhere. So I'm just going to talk about Deadpool and Suicide Squad. Here we go. First, I'm going to talk about Deadpool. Now, before last year's test footage that was leaked online, I had no idea who Deadpool was. Everyone kept saying, Deadpool's awesome, Deadpool's awesome, but I had no idea who Deadpool was. And then I saw the Comic-Con footage, and it was awesome. I never knew that this was an anti-hero who breaks the fourth wall and interacts with the audience. So original for a comic book character. And seeing that as a movie would be awesome! And also earlier this year, Fox released some Deadpool photos, which are just hilarious and kind of disturbing. But anyway, in the trailer, it starts out pretty rough. And I was thinking, is this is this gonna be Deadpool? But then once it kicks on, it kicks on. First, I'm gonna start off with that Ryan Reynolds, I think, is going to be excellent as Deadpool. Everyone was saying that he could not be a good Deadpool, but that's probably because he was in X-Men Origins Wolverine, which I'll get to later. Apparently the rumors that Colossus was going to be in this movie are officially true. Colossus is going to be in Deadpool, which which I think is pretty cool. I always thought Colossus was really cool when I saw the X-Men films. He just looked all big and metally like the T-1000, even though I've never seen Terminator movies. I know, I'm not worthy of being a nerd. And apparently the movie's tagline, at least in the trailer, is with great power comes great irresponsibility. I, was, I mean, <laughs> I mean, that makes me smile because of, you know, Spider-Man and, yeah, that's, that's pretty obvious. And there were some things in the trailer that I wasn't really crazy about. One of which is that he says some of the exact same dialogue from the Comic-Con footage, and the reason why I thought that was funny in the Comic-Con footage that was released last year is that he was talking to us, the audience. You know, when he says... Yes. Oh, hello there. I bet you're wondering why the red suit. Well, that's so bad guys can't see me bleed. And he also mentions brown pants in this trailer, which he also told us in the Comic-Con footage from last year. I really hope those two pieces of dialogue aren't in this movie, unless he's talking to us, the audience, because I felt it was funnier that way. And now I'm going to talk about the Squad trailer. I mean, it was a neat trailer. It wasn't Batman v Superman or anything. First, I'm going to talk about what I think of the past events of the Suicide Squad production. Even though the only characters I cared about were Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and the Joker. Even though I'm pretty sure Joker's not going to be in the Suicide Squad, I'm pretty sure he's going to be the villain in the movie. But knowing that Margot Robbie from The Wolf of Wall Street was cast as Harley Quinn and Will Smith was cast as Deadshot, I think those are two really good actors, so yeah, they'll put them in the Suicide Squad, they deserve it. I have always wanted Will Smith to be in some sort of a DC property. Before this, I was thinking he could be a really good Jon Stewart Green Lantern. And no, not that Jon Stewart, this Jon Stewart. I'm sorry fellow nerds, I have to make my point out to the newbies here. But, you know, Will Smith is dead shot, so okay, I think that's pretty good casting. I'm not gonna complain about it. And Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn? Okay, yeah, sure, she has the look for Harley Quinn, she's got the acting chops, so yeah, I'm okay with her being Harley Quinn. And Jared Leto as the Joker. I personally would have cast Matthew McConaughey or Jake Gyllenhaal, but okay, Jared Leto, I, I have faith in him. I haven't seen Dallas Buyers Club, but he's won an Academy Award for that, so we'll see how he does. And I know there was a bunch of the other Suicide Squad members that were cast, but I really don't care about them. Like Captain Boomerang or El Diablo. Killer Croc I was originally hyped for, but then when I saw his design in the photo, I was like, hmm. I probably would have gotten CGI with that. And speaking of photos, we got a Joker photo was released. Everyone was divided. Some people thought it looked really cool, some people thought it looked really crappy, and I was one of those people who thought it actually looked pretty cool. The only tattoo I have a problem with is the one that says damaged on his forehead because I really don't think you need the word damage on his forehead to show the fact that this guy is damaged. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. We get to see Harley Quinn do some sort of gymnastics thing that I wasn't really a big fan of. As far as I know, Harley Quinn, I don't know if that's really like her character. It looked like she was doing gymnastics for the sake of doing gymnastics. And there were a few lines in the trailer where, like, Will Smith says, We're some kind of suicide squad. Mm. But however, we also get to see Batman on Joker's car. 
thought that was pretty cool, even though we saw the photos, but still. It's nice to see Batman is in this movie, which means we're going to be having two movies with Batman in it. In the same year. How awesome is that? And when they show Jared Leto as the Joker, I thought that was really cool. And he says, Oh, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to hurt you. Really, really bad. Which is... Pretty similar to the line that Jack Nicholson said in The Shining. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains. Wait. Jack Nicholson was the Joker in the 1989 Batman movie. Also, I do kind of find it funny that Will Smith and Jay Pinkett Smith are both in DC properties. <laughs> At least we can all rest assured that Jaden Smith is not going to be in a DC property. Now, while I go kill myself, uh, you know, if you want to see more videos, click this.